everyone, welcome back. I'm Daria, if you're new here, and in today's practice, we'll be exploring some spinal movements. We'll be going slowly and deliberately so that we can really feel all of the articulation through expansion and contraction. This is a really great practice for when maybe you're resisting coming onto your mat because it's short, and it's a little bit less of a traditional yoga flow. So it's more of an exploration into the body and into a movement practice. No pressure today. So all that you'll need is yourself and some place to move. And whenever you're ready, let's get into it. We'll get started today from a seat right here in Sukhasana. So let your sitting bones and your pelvis be heavy. Allow your knees to fall wide. The palms can face up on the thighs or maybe down, whatever feels more intuitive and more natural for you. And then try to grow and lengthen through all four sides of your torso evenly. So the front body, the back body, and both sides of your waist are elongating, stretching your spine all the way through the very tip of the crown of your head, straight up toward the sky. Take a moment to drop down into your body, coming out of a more brain-bound space where often we spend our time, whether that's during the workday or you might even notice right when you first wake up in the morning that your mind is going a million miles an hour. And often we can help to clear the mental space by dropping more for a while into the body and listening to these maybe more subtle rhythms. And drop down into the breath so that it fills from the base of your pelvis all the way up to the tops of your lungs when you breathe in. And when you breathe out, take a big sigh, soften your jaw, let it all out. Again, inhale through your nose to fill up from bottom to top as though your torso is a container for the breath. Open mouth, sigh, let it go. Shoulders are soft, face is relaxed. Continue deepening your breath. And for today's practice, if you'd like to practice Ujjayi Pranayama, breathing in and out through the nose, you are welcome to. Or you can continue breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth if that's feeling more natural. Take a couple more moments right here and just feel that your sitting bones are rooting straight down toward the center of the earth as the crown of your head continues to stretch toward the sky. Blink your eyes open. Bring your palms face down on your thighs. Start to bend your elbows and make big circles with the torso, revolving forward over the shins to one side, curling back, and then over to the other side. Go in one direction. And it's okay if this doesn't look exactly like what I'm doing. Just try to feel it from the inside out. It's like your heart is going on a big circle. And then you can reverse the direction that you're traveling. Go the other way. And then when you're ready, make your way up to hands and knees, tabletop. And check that your palms are spread wide and then that your fingers are spread wide. Claw into the finger pads and pull them back toward the center of your palms so that you have a really nice firm grip into the earth. And we'll begin with really, really slow, intentional and deliberate waves through the spine in cat-cow inspired sort of shapes. So as you inhale, soften the very low belly, lift the tip of your tailbone straight up toward the sky and allow your sitting bones to spread wide. As you do this, you'll notice that the, the low back begins to arch. So activate there, contract the low back, then start to melt the base of your rib cage down toward the earth and activate your middle back. And finally, begin to stretch your heart a little bit more forward 
as you pull back on your hands to activate the upper back. And finally, lift your gaze up toward the sky, creating a contraction in the back of the neck. As you exhale, pull first your inner thighs together, drop your tailbone down toward the backs of your knees, and then begin to lift your pelvic floor, contracting the low belly. Close your ribs, pull them together and down. Begin to round into your middle back and then press the back of your heart up toward the sky. So it's like your heart itself, the front of the heart is being suctioned between your shoulder blades. And finally, drop your head, crown of head straight down toward the earth. So your whole front body is lit up, active. Again, inhale. Start from the tailbone, let it rise, let the sitting bones widen, and then progressively soften into the low belly, the middle belly. Begin to reach your heart forward, draw your shoulders down your back and lift your gaze up toward the sky. The back body is contracted, the front body is expanding. And as you exhale, press down into your shins, drop the tailbone, but lift the pelvic floor, almost like you're tucking your pelvis a little forward. Begin to contract, low belly, middle belly. Press down into your palms to stretch the back of your heart to the sky and drop your head. Feel your breath traveling through all of your vertebrae here, creating more space from one to the next. Good. Now, let's begin to move a little more intuitively. So instead of the really, really detailed alignment through these waves, try to just feel it, that innate intelligence in your body that knows what to do. And don't feel as though you're bound to this mold of cat cows. So you can begin to play into the ribs, shifting the rib cage from one side to the other, maybe playing into the hips or the pelvis. Just ride the waves of your breath, and if it feels okay, close your eyes to really let this movement come from the inside. Try to avoid having any plan for what's going to come in the next moment, but just stay anchored right into this moment right here and right now. You can take as much time here to play as you'd like, but then when you're, when you're ready, we'll come back to a neutral steady tabletop. Anchor the left palm, breathe in, and reach your right arm up to the sky. Try to feel here that your waistlines are elongating, but then you're twisting, so the left ribs revolve toward the right, gaze moves up over the right fingertips. Breathe in, breathe out, thread the needle, right shoulder slides all the way down to the mat. On your next inhale, go right back up, right fingertips up to the sky, claw into the left fingertips. Exhale, slide, glide, right shoulder all the way down to the mat. One more, inhale, reach up, lift the gaze. Exhale, thread the needle, this time we'll stay. And for today's practice, keep the left palm anchored where it is. Press into it slightly as you grow out of your spine on a breath in. And then on the breath out, begin to twist your heart open toward the left side of the mat. Keep it gentle without forcing anything, but just try to feel that progressive sort of snake of the twist making its way up your spine. You can stay here, or if you'd like, press down more firmly into your right shin, and then begin to glide your left toes to the back of the mat. The toenail side of the foot is rooted. Feel all five toenails dig down to keep your hips square, and then keep this rotation of inner thigh up toward the sky as you maybe begin to float your leg. Soften into the right shoulder. Soften into your hip creases. Activate the back line of left leg and see if you can lift the leg one inch higher. And then slowly exhale and bring the left knee all the way back down to the mat, tabletop in the legs. Press into left palm. As you inhale, counter twist. Right arm reaches up to the sky. And exhale, find your way back to hands and knees. 
Right palm roots. Inhale, left arm rises up to the sky. Feel lengthen your spine, squeeze belly button in and back, and then revolve from your ribs to twist your heart more open. As you exhale, slide the left shoulder all the way down to the mat, thread the needle. Inhale, rise back up, press into your right palm and reach your left fingertips toward the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, reach up, lift your gaze. And exhale, left shoulder down, left cheek down. This time we stay, right palm presses down. So try to check that your neck is as long as possible. If you need to lift your head and reach the crown of your head a little more forward, you can do so. And then by pressing into the right palm, we can encourage more twist into the thoracic spine, the middle back. Stay here breathing or press into the left shin and glide your right toes back behind you. Toenails root first to the earth to keep the hips square and then lift your right leg as though it's being pulled on a string straight up from your inner thigh. Make sure to keep breathing and then squeeze your right glute and your right hamstring, float the leg one inch higher, inhale. As you exhale, land right knee all the way back down to the mat. Press into your right palm, inhale to stretch your left fingertips up to the sky, and exhale, come back to hands and knees. Anchor your palms, tuck your toes, take a breath in to float your knees one inch from the mat, and then as you exhale, from your tailbone, begin to lift your hips all the way up and back, arching your spine as you go. So the back body is really, really active here. Take a few moments in downward facing dog to just explore your space. Sometimes it can feel good to lift the heels and revolve them toward one side of the mat, getting into a side body stretch. And then go the other way. And whatever you're doing, let it feel really good in your body. Like it's the, that first stretch when you wake up in the morning, everything's lengthening. Reach your tailbone back, reach the crown of your head forward. And we'll start to make little ripples into the spine. So. As you inhale, start to pull your low belly in and back toward your spine. Then close your ribs together and down. And then try to press the front of your heart through the back of your heart all the way up to the sky. Let this wave ripple through your neck until finally the crown of your head stretches forward. And then this initiates the lift of the tailbone and a pressing back of the heart toward your thighs as you arch your spine. So you can watch if that is not making a lot of sense to you, but also this can look different and can feel different in everyone's body. We're more just exploring the spine in today's practice. And so it's okay if you're not doing exactly what I'm doing. Again, little ripples. So start by micro bending in the knees, then contract the low belly, the middle belly, like your whole front body is being vacuumed up toward your spine. Press your heart to the back of your heart, then stretch forward through the crown of your head, and then begin to lift from the tip of your tailbone and glide all the way back into downward facing dog. Take a couple more little waves like this at your own pace and in your own way. And you can start to feel it like a, a crawl, like the wave is crawling up your spine. One vertebra at a time and see how much you can articulate. And the slower you go, often the more you can feel. And let's just do one more. And begin to broaden your waves. On your next inhale, this time we'll lift the heels, firm the thighs, hollow the whole front body as you round all the way forward to a high plank. Tuck your chin toward your chest. Inhale here, 
Then as you exhale, micro bend your knees and your elbows. Lift your tailbone toward the sky, arch your low back, your middle back, your upper back, and then reach your gaze forward towards your thumbs as you press your heels down toward the earth, coming back into downward facing dog. A couple more like this. Inhale, wash forward, feel the wave ripple all the way up your spine as you shift to a high plank, tuck the chin toward the chest. And then as you exhale, lift your tailbone, magnetize your tailbone all the way up and back. So there's like a lifting as you glide the hips back. Again, riding the breath, inhale. And exhale. See if you can feel a similar effect to your cat cows. So as you inhale, your front body is contracting, even the thighs, the whole belly, tucking the chin toward the chest so you're contracting the space of the throat. And then when you exhale, the front body is expanding, the back body is contracting. Take an inhale here through your nose. Exhale out of your nose or your mouth. Start to walk your fingers all the way back toward your toes, coming to the back of the mat. Let's give the arms and the shoulders a little break from that downward facing dog. Bow forward all the way down into a rag doll fold. You can reach for opposite elbows and bring a gentle sway through your torso side to side. Check that the crown of your head is heavy toward the mat. And then walk your fingertips all the way back out to downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your heels round forward high plank. As you exhale, bend your elbows and then lower your pelvis, your heart and your chin to the mat. Untuck your toes. Step your fingertips out to the wide edges of your mat beside you. Root into them. And here, again, it's like you're kind of pulling your four fingers back in toward your thumbs, the, the four other fingers. Take an inhale. Press the tops of the feet down. Firm your thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Press your pelvic floor, or press your pelvis down. Then lift your pelvic floor and start to rise all the way up into cobra. Your heart arcs forward to the top of the mat as, as the shoulders draw away from your ears. Roll them down your back. Take a breath into all the contraction in the back body and all the opening in the front body. And then exhale to softly release all the way back down. Inhale, press down, rise your heart. And exhale, slowly roll back down, softening one little bit at a time, your front body down, heart finally melts, and then the chin. One more breath, inhale, lift up. And exhale, release all the way back down. Plant your palms, come through hands and knees, and then Bring yourself to a seat back on your sitting bones. As you inhale, reach your arms up toward the sky. As you exhale, stick your butt back, cactus your elbows, pull down with the elbows so the shoulders come away from your ears and lift your heart toward the sky. Breathe in here, widen your palms, and then breathe out to contract, rounding in like your spine is being magnetized toward the back of your space and the fingertips reach forward. Again, inhale, stick your butt back, reach your heart forward to the top of the mat, lift your gaze up towards your fingertips, then cactus your elbows and pull down, shoulder blades draw down the back. One more breath in here to expand, and then breathe out, round in, belly button hugs towards spine. Inhale, lift up, gaze toward your fingertips. And then this time, as you exhale, neutralize your spine a bit. Just softly bring the left hand to your outer right thigh and the right fingertips can come down to the mat behind you. Nice and easy twist. Press down into your toenails and the tops of your feet. And every time you breathe in, 
feel like a, a rebounding effect up the spine. And when you breathe out, you're twisting from the belly button or from the waistline up. Inhale, rise through center, all 10 fingertips up, lift the gaze. Exhale, press the tops of your feet down. Twist so that right hand comes to outer left thigh. Left fingertips come back behind you. Then breathe in from the pressing of your feet. There's a rush of the breath up your spine to grow longer. And on the exhale, twist. One more each side. Inhale, rise, fingertips lift. Exhale, twist, left hand, outer right thigh. Breathe in to lengthen, breathe out to deepen. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right hand, outer left thigh, left fingertips back. Breathe in, grow, and breathe out, twist. Swivel your torso back to face forward. Come down to a seat and find Sukhasana once again. And we'll take a few rounds of breath to close the practice. Palms can face up or down on your thighs. Maybe the tips of your thumbs and index fingers come to connect. Soften your eyes, soften your shoulders. And we'll practice breathing up and down the central column of your spine. So feel for the very root of where you're sitting and let the breath begin there as you inhale. Feel it flow all the way up through the low back, the middle back, the upper back, the back of the neck, and through the crown of your head. Exhale and let the breath wash back down that same channel like a rinse, rinsing through anything that's stuck or stagnant. Keep breathing this way. Inhale up your spine for four, three, two, one. Exhale, wash back down, four, three, two, one. Imagine the breath is like actual water. Inhale as it rises. Exhale like a waterfall effect, rinsing everything out. Keep breathing at your own pace. Inhale. Exhale. Check that your face is relaxed. Check that your shoulders are soft or anywhere else in your body that you're noticing tension, allow it to release, maybe the arms. Take one more breath here. And then blink your eyes softly open. You're welcome to stay here and continue breathing or maybe find a shavasana for a little rest to absorb all of the effects of this little practice. But thank you so much for sharing this class with me. I find that this is a great way to get into the body through these really deliberate spinal actions, especially on days where maybe I'm resisting the practice or I'm not feeling especially connected. So please let me know if you have thoughts or comments. I'd love to hear from you. You can subscribe to my channel down below as well if you're not already. That really helps to support me and I hope you're doing really well. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.